I'm so excited to be here today because dealing with pressure is something that everybody in this room has to deal with. And with challenges and taking on challenges, you create more pressure as well. I know that the most successful people I've ever met in my life are those who not just can deal with pressure, but they thrive under pressure. They love the pressure. Why do we feel we can stand in front of you? Well, we've dealt with an enormous amount of pressure. I mean, during my year as Miss Universe, firstly, I had no idea when I woke up the next morning after competing with 97 other girls that I was going to be the winner and that I was going to have to deal with the type of pressure I had to during my year. Traveling to uh, two con continents a week, visiting three cities a day, ne needing to deal with the media, the press at a very young age. The pressure was really building and luckily I had these techniques in my life to be able to deal with that. The worst position ever is that of goalkeeper. <coughs> How do you feel when you're in goals? And I had to stop and think about it. And I said, and to be honest, I'm scared. Because if I make a mistake, when we lose, my players won't talk to me, the manager hates me, the crowd throw things at me. I said, to be, to be honest, I'm scared. He said, well, with all due respect, if you're scared of the challenge, you can never produce your real ability. So I said to him, well, that's easy for you to say. I mean, you come and play in front of 80,000 every week. He said, no, I hear you. He said, but the principle's the same. Goalkeeper, you can make all the saves in the world you want to make. The glory still goes to the guy who scores the goal without even meaning to, it bounces off his body, he's still the hero. But make one mistake and see how the world hates you. That's the pressure I had to learn to live with. And if I didn't develop these five techniques we're talking about, I would never have survived. I wrote a book with the Professor Zondi about three years ago, Succeed Under Pressure, where we looked at all these principles. And the wonderful thing about these principles is they don't take up any extra time in your day. I'm going to pick at random three people from this audience that I want you to come up here and speak for four minutes on the pressure you're under and how it affects you. Now here's the good news. I'm only kidding. <laughs> you see your faces, all the smiles disappeared. People started doing this in their seats. <laughs> I'm going to throw it back to you guys. Let's get you into the first, gratitude. Not just the gratitude that you're thinking of, which is where you say thanks, maybe in the morning or evening, for the good things in life. It's a lot, lot more than that. It's gratitude the business tool. Now one of the reasons why we need it, according to Rick Hansen, we are wired to worry more about the negative than to be happy about the positive. I'm sure for each and every one of you there's been something in your life that has scared you, you've been fearful of, but without changing the facts, being able to find something exciting and positive about that. I know that sometimes consciously we make decisions, whether it's a move, a change of a job, and it's still scary, even though you've made that decision, right? So it's not something that you can be unrealistic about. It's something that you have to be very realistic about. The only way to deal with this increased workload is simply to raise your energy. Uh, the first one is exercise. Exercise reduces stress. What's also important is it boosts endorphins. It makes you happier. And it improves your brain power. Go to Scientific American, March 2014 edition. But people often say to me when we do this talk, they say, but I haven't got the time, I can't get to gym, I can't do this, I can't do... I say, hey, it doesn't have to take time. My simple solution is I have a running machine in front of my TV. I'm going to watch a couple of shows during the course of the week with the family. I'm certainly going to watch my soccer and rugby on a Saturday. And I watch it while I'm exercising. It's not that difficult to do. Ladies, multitasking from a male, are you impressed? <laughs> <laughs> Mish is trying to teach me to listen better and better. <laughs> I'm going to get there one of these days. Huh? But it's something that we can learn together. And if you listen better, you're a better business person, no doubt. Do you find that true in your lives? The words that you tell yourself, the words that you express to others, the power of words. Besides an everyday life, you can see the effect of what, what it does to people around you. These five principles will absolutely guarantee you, if you use them, they will make you more successful in life. And not just in business, but in your personal life as well.